Uh, Amethar, you just got your fucking... Still just sitting. Yeah. <laughs> first, even standing exactly yeah. where I was. Um, you see that uh, Calroy uh, knocks on the door and says, Ooh. Uh, bad time? Good time? Maybe done. Uh, well, instead of being in the place where your wife will come back to go to sleep and maybe make you feel terrible some more, let's, uh, I don't know. You want to go take a shit in the field? <laughs> you see, he, he says, uh, in all honesty, the ramparts of the castle need some tending to, and I think we should talk about what we do if Sir Maillard fails to hold them at the Gola River. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's go find Sir Theo. Um, you see that um, you and uh, Calroy head off. You're walking al above the sort of like beautiful high ramparts over the vast sort of a like, chasm cola moat of Castle Candy. Um, uh, and you see that, uh, uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, that's only a seven. Okay. Um, you look out over the vast fields, you see there's a ton of bivouac tents out here. Calroy looks out and says, look at all those tents. Feels like 20 years of peace just flew by, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Right back to where we started. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, you feel a knife plunge into your back. I'm going to need uh, three constitution saving throws. We'll play this game oh, again. Oh no. Fucker. All right. Um, you want to order again? Yeah, give me an order. Okay. Uh, yeah, so first one, we're gonna go, first one will be 20, uh, 25. 25? Second one will be 10. And the last one will be 9. Okay. <sighs> that motherfucking piece of cake. Oh my. Rip him. In those hot ass pants. Fuck. I can't, I, we should have known. He's an assassin. Yeah. All along, he's been an assassin. Yeah, but for us. I almost made an inside check earlier. I right? know, yeah. God. <sighs> God, he taught me how to use a sword. I know. That's bitch. Um, Amathar, you take 34 points of damage mm -hmm. and are paralyzed. Uh, Can you talk if you're paralyzed or not? No, you can't do anything if you're paralyzed. Great. Um, Calroy puts a gloved hand over your shoulder and twists the dagger into your back. <clears throat> you feel your body freeze up, staring out over the estates of Candia. See, so he goes, you know what I always hated about you, Amathar? Oh. <gasps> you were so damn lucky. I mean, fifth in line for the throne and the crown rests on your head and each of your sisters better and more clever than you it really makes the unfortunate minor lord of a less than wealthy barony feel i don't know a little underwhelming <laughs> oh i'll say your sisters were a little bit less lucky though least lucky thing that ever happened to Rococo was when she found out that I was selling weapons to the Ceresians. That, that had to be dealt with. And I think you'll remember 
How strange it was that she was found riddled with arrows so far behind our own lines. But that's war, and strange things happen all the time. The Cerisians, I find, are very reasonable. Very reasonable, and you can see some of their tents out here in the field. Oh my God, all along he's cake, he's part, oh my God. You know, <laughs> I don't have luck, so I have to work. I have to work a lot. First, I had to put the little cheese boy onto the scent of the uh, Duchess cold bottle, and I had to ferry his idiot sailors all the way up the Sucrosi Road to that little farmhouse. I mean, it had to get them there somehow. They couldn't sail there, could they? And they would be so suspicious walking up the road. And yet, you miraculously survive when you should have died. Amathar the Unfallen. You uncharacteristically leave a fight. You jump out of the ring rather than trying to behead that carrot. And they call the tournament, even with all the work that me and Alfredi put into getting those water steel daggers into her hands. I, I thought I was going to fail. And then, and then your friend Manta Ray Jack mentioned a girl at the banquet stashed somewhere in the Derry Islands. And I thought, that's so interesting. Amethar and I are best friends, war buddies as far back as we can remember. Why would he never tell me? And I got to thinking, Amethar was never quiet about his exploits as a roving prince of Candia. So why didn't I hear about this girl? And I thought, I'd better talk with Manta Ray Jack. He didn't want to talk, but a few fingers and pints of blood later, we remembered your sister's book. Very useful, your sister. Very useful indeed. Up until a young Elizabeth Brassica ordered her run down in the street by vegetarian nights. That, that hurt because she had always been very sweet to me. Well, after Manta Ray, you saw an opportunity. You know, it hurts to have all of your plans fail, but they say that improvisation is the better part of planning, so I was happy to take advantage of that opportunity when it presented itself, Amethar. You know what happens to a man when he dies? He shits himself. So I'll be happy to watch you shit one last time. He grabs your ankles and goes, I wonder if they'll call you Amathar the Unfallen after this. Here's to a future you can't ruin. And heaves you over the walls of the castle. Chet, Ruby, and Liam. Um, 